Hello! Welcome back to Module 9 of Setting Up Your Journal with OJS 3.0. This is Unit 2 of Workflow Settings, Submissions. The Submission section is where we'll configure and input submission guidelines for authors, submission checklists, metadata requirements, and other related materials. To access submissions, head to your dashboard using the link in the top right corner of your homepage. Hover over Settings in the left navigation and click on Workflow in the Extended menu. Submission is the second tab along the top of the new frame. The first prompt is for Author Guidelines. This is a section over which you have complete content control thanks to the rich text editing box. Bibliographic standards, formatting requirements, and timeline expectations are some of the information elements that would be appropriate here. The Submissions Preparation Checklist is aimed at helping authors ensure that everything the editorial team needs is included in their submission. It is pre-populated with default items, but those items can be edited or deleted if they are not relevant. To access those features, click on the expansion arrow. This exposes the Edit and Delete buttons. You can also add items to the list using the Add Item button in the top right-hand corner of the box. The Add Item wizard only has one field, which is a box in which you describe the new checklist item. When you're satisfied, click Save. Notification of author submission allows you to direct the system to email the primary contact of the journal in addition to emailing the author once the submission is complete. Submission metadata allows you to enable metadata fields that can be filled in by the author at the time of submission, as well as to indicate whether this metadata element should be a part of the submission form. The advantage of allowing your authors to complete the metadata is accuracy and detail. The disadvantage is potential inconsistencies in terms throughout the journal, as you'll be using individual free text rather than applying a controlled vocabulary. Be sure to consider your journal's needs and goals while making metadata element decisions. Finally, we come to the privacy statement. It is pre-populated with a default text, but can be edited to fully and accurately reflect your journal's policies. When completed, click Save. Let's take a quick look at how the changes we've made will look to authors making submissions. At the top of your window, click on View Site. On your homepage, hover over the About link and select Submissions. First, we can see the Submissions Preparation Checklist, which matches exactly with what we saw in the dashboard. Following is the Author Guidelines. You'll note that while I'm logged in with my Journal Manager account, an Edit button is visible beside the different information blocks on the page. Clicking on this will bring us back to the Submissions page in the Workflow Settings of the Dashboard. We can also access our Author Submissions page in the Dashboard, which we discussed in Module 5, by clicking on either the Making New Submission or View Your Pending Submissions links. Not visible on this page is the Submission Metadata section, which impacts the actual submission process within the Dashboard. This is discussed in more detail in the Editing a Journal with OJS 3.0 course. And that concludes our overview of workflow settings for submissions. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next module.